morning all. It's just uh, just approaching 20 to 9 and uh, I'd like to say a very Merry Christmas to you all. It's uh, Christmas Eve believe it or not and I'm back behind the rods again. Now not on my own. Nice to see my mate there Mark. Yep. Merry Christmas Mark. Merry Christmas mate. Uh, we've got to be honest, we didn't think we were going to be here because um, the last, uh, what, 24 hours the country's been absolutely battered again with uh, terrible winds and driving rain. I mean, this time yesterday it was proper monsoon and uh, texting and having a chat on the phone and what have you, umming and ahhing. Uh, I was even up three or four times in the night looking outside the bedroom window and checking the conditions, but it's just a major contrast, I mean. Uh, we're actually on our day ticket water, a venue that we uh, tend to fish this time of the year, now and then. Uh, and not surprisingly, the, the only souls here, which uh, we're not complaining about. But uh, going back to the weather conditions, the wind's dropped, it's really mild. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's got to be, what would you say temperature-wise, Mark? Six, seven degrees. You know, it's not cold at all. I mean, we have been moving about and obviously fetching our gear from the van, setting up. but. Uh, the forecast says it is going to get a lot colder as the day goes on, but the major factor is that wind. It was absolutely, as I say, monsoon, blowing a hooligan. There were reports of trees falling. I mean, the drive here from home, we saw one or two large trees had come down and it, it was just too dangerous really to be bankside, but I'm pleased to say that it's all changed for the better. And uh, the early signs look good, mate, don't they? We've seen one or two, yeah, seen three or four fish roll, have we? Hopefully, we're normally, uh, well, the, the sessions we've done certainly last year, I think we popped down two, three times, uh, was on the bank there. Um, from that corner, we've actually counted it up. I think it's about eight swims up and nine swims up where me and Mark are fished next to each other. But uh, for a change, we've decided to come on the, uh, the bank from that corner where the car park is to the left. It's really, really... Uh, soft underfoot but that's to be expected but the early signs are good we've seen fish move and there's plenty of them in here um, got to be honest with you they are a bit knocked about the mouths are a bit tattered I mean this is quite uh, pressured water certainly in the uh, warm months but uh, typical day ticket water when the conditions are a bit I think I've just seen one roll just butting in there's rings there there you go that's about the six show we've seen this morning uh, yeah, going back to what I was just saying, um, typical day ticket water when the conditions start to deteriorate. Mark's had a, a bit of a knock. <laughs> Might even get a bit of live action here for you folks. And there we go. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes, mate? Yeah. Fantastic. I'll try and carry on what I was saying as Mark's playing that fish. <clears throat> typical day ticket venue. When the conditions get a bit bit rough and it's not very nice out there, it only brings the diehards out. And I ain't blowing my own trumpet here, all marks, but um, I'm not surprised that it's quiet. But uh, these are the ideal places to come and do your winter fishing. I mean, uh, you've seen the blogs I've done recently at Paul Hall. Um, they've been very challenging and we knew we was in for a bit of a, a challenging uh, session. But we're expected to catch here because there's quite a few fish in here. And as I say, they're knocked about a bit. They're quite pressured. Uh, you get all different standards of angling here. Uh, not, They're not the biggest. Not yeah, <laughs> not really going into depth on that one. But um, there's plenty of fish in here, and there's a lot of uh, F1s, Simos, and it's all about getting a bend in the rod. So uh, I'm just going to zoom in there. I think that's a, a small one, around about the two pound mark, Scott. But uh, it's a bend in the rod, and he gets us out the house. And uh, I've just seen another one crash. There we go, other way. So there's fish moving everywhere now, we've got the whole place to ourselves. as Mark just puts the net under that one. So I'm quite confident we're going to get a few bites today. Yeah, I do, I've just, uh, just cut it and again. So uh, right, I'm going to stop waffling on now. So um, incidentally we're, uh, we're both fishing uh, snowman rigs and little, little bags with uh, chopped boilie. Uh, that's all we're doing. Um, no freebies over the top, just a little mouthful. So, 
that's the opening piece to this blog. Um, I'm going to stop waffling on and I'll get that capture remarks on the camera. And hopefully during the uh, duration of the day we're going to have uh, plenty of fish to show you. So, uh, that's a nice start for Mark. Catch well, you a bit, uh, folks. As I mentioned previously this year, uh, Mark hasn't blanked all season. And I know it's only a small fish. God, mate, that's the smallest fish I think you've caught this season. I know. But it's, your non-blank season continues. And Considering the uh, quality we've been showing you all year, yeah. as soon as you come to a day ticket, look at the mouth. How on earth did I catch that fish? It's really... I'll just, I mean, I'm just zooming in, mate, if it, you can just... It, it's pretty scale perfect and fin perfect, but other than his dorsal, which is ripped, and yep. his mouth there, as you can see, it's like a pinhole. It's more look at that. time and... Uh, a double look up. <laughs> Amazing. Mark's had, uh, this is your third capture in it, mate. Second. Is it the second one? Yeah, I've only had two, yeah. Have you? Oh. Yeah, that small one earlier. <laughs> it's a third with yours, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was, uh, we were thinking about putting a zig on and then all of a sudden, mine, well, they both didn't, they mate, for yeah. this time of the year, absolutely Shot melted off. off. And that was it, we was away. Two little pasties. Yeah, but, this um, one's slightly the, probably, well this is the biggest one we've had so far almost today. Almost definitely, that's going to be getting on for about £5, pound, that one. Monster. <laughs> so, but um, keeps us happy this time of the year. Yeah. There's no date you can imagine. So, Great. Only people on the lake, only nutters here. It's just about two minutes past ten, so yeah. I think it's safe to say there ain't no one else going to come today. No, <laughs> so, and hopefully uh, we'll have a few more. Yeah, uh, it's, it has gone a little bit cooler, hasn't it, mate? Definitely, yeah. Dropped a couple of degrees. Now it's clearing up a bit, but... Mine's a bit lively. Uh, there's a bit of sleet in the air. Uh, but who cares? We're loving every minute of it. Yeah, and so, we get a few uh, liners as well, so... There's one or two mid-doubles in here, so you never know. We're going to keep plugging away. And hopefully uh, that bonus one will come along, but... Uh, yeah. Who cares? That rod's... Uh, got singing, a bend in it. and that's the best part of it. Them alarms are singing, yes, mate, and uh, we're loving every minute, so... Yeah. These little babies deserve to go back and uh, enjoy their uh, Christmas in peace. Yep, the festive period But then as the rain uh, begins to fall again, I'm going to uh, cast out another rod and I'm going to try a zig again. And I just thought I'd just show you my zig setup. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary or complicated. That's uh, a flat pair inline quarter lead uh, swivel. This is, I think it's around about £12. And that's uh, a monofilament by Fox. Really low diameter, uh, and I've tied that to uh, a size 6 quarter mixer hook. Uh, there's a purple banoffin pop up there, and that's just tipped off with um, a nice uh, fluoro maggot. And that's been glugged in a little bit of flavour as well. So uh, <coughs> I've set that about two foot. It's um, about six foot of uh, water in front of me. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. <coughs> there we go. And uh, yep. Just another presentation and um, just having a chat amongst ourselves, me and Mark. Sometimes something a little bit different can uh, winkle out a slightly better fish. So uh, just thought to show you that. I'm going to cast it in the pond and there see we go what then, folks. Half hour's gone. And we match just now another one. Probably about five pounds, something like that. Another lovely one as well. Yeah. Yeah, on the same spot. Same rig, same bait. Yeah. Uh, also, I've just lost one as well. I thought it was a bream, but a few bleeps, but it weren't, it was a carp. And just before I put the net under it, it come off, so weren't a monster though. So. Now I've just brought one of the rods in and popped a zig on as I showed you the setup. And uh, as I said, the, the rods are screaming off again, real full bloody take, slightly, uh, well, near off the same stamp as the last one. Yeah, I'd say so. So uh, that rod's going to be staying on uh, that spot for the duration of this session. Yeah. So, two fish, you can't really move it, can you? But uh, the left hand rod, which is fished in the central area of the lake, I haven't had a knock on that one, hence the reason I brought it in and put a zig out. So, it's just nice, mate, I'm really enjoying it. Um, moving the rods about, plenty of fish moving about. I think we've uh, worked out that the fish ain't um, shoulder up, they're all. Every area there, you know, all around the lake. For the time of the year, yeah, you'd think they'd be shoulder, but they're not. So, oh well. Nice. If we can uh, get another couple of them mates, we'll be more than happy. It's nice to get a mirror, and that's very rare for me to say because I love commons, but um, just to mix up the variety, and as I keep saying, maybe one of those little upper, well, upper doubles, you know, scrape a 12, 13 pound, just put the icing on the cake. That's it then, mate. But uh, enjoying it nonetheless. Lovely. Well, the reason being I'm showing you this one, folks, is because this is Mark's first fish on a zig. Yep, first ever. And uh, what I've just witnessed, well, if I'd have told you that in the pub tonight, you wouldn't have believed me. Take it away, Mark. 
Well, basically, it had been out there for about half an hour and it hadn't had no indications whatsoever. And I thought, going back to my old days where I used to uh, feed a fish, I'm just going to pull the zig sort of a couple of foot. I pulled it a couple of foot, put it back on the bobbin, and literally the rod bent straight over and it was away. Couldn't really believe it, but I just thought I'd give it a go. And um, obviously it's worked. <laughs> we were both amazed, weren't we? Yeah, it really was. So. But, uh, and then Mark thought, oh, perhaps it's far looked. But it, I can tell you now, it was yeah. cracking up old, right in the bottom lip. Yeah, brilliant to cold. So that was on a little 12 mil pop up with a rubber maggot on the top, a red one. So obviously this, there's a few fish out there, and um, just that, that little pull on the rod enticed it. So a bit of a tip there. <laughs> if you've been sat behind your rods two or three hours, why not just give your um, pop up a little pull? And um, you never know, you might nail it, nail one for use. It did so, on this uh, occasion, mate. It certainly did, yeah. And probably the best looking fish, fin perfect, yep. mouth perfect. So, which is a very rarity for these, yep. the, these sort of day ticket waters. So certainly this one we're on today. Yeah. So. Well done, mate. Yeah, well chuffed with that. Not the biggest, but hopefully um, I can nail a bigger one on the zig. Hopefully, mate. The end of the day. Hopefully. So and we'll try the try that tip, maybe, more often. Nice one, mate. Yep. Yeah. It's the fourth bite. Yeah. And uh, I've had my first mirror of the session. Yeah, you've just put a little common back as well. I have, yeah. I've had two bites within ten minutes. And they've all fell to the same flavoured boiler today. That's a CM2 bottom bait and a CM1 pop-up tipper. So, and I, I think yours as well, aren't they, Mark? Yeah, they all have, yeah. That's right. Mark's using a fizz bottom bait on the other rod and I'm using a Benoffin. But uh, for some reason, it's the uh, CM2 that's scoring, but this one's a right wriggler. Well, I reckon they know they ain't going to get no food Christmas Day, so they're having it today. Hopefully uh, their granddad's going to be coming along as well. But Yeah, because these are getting a bit pitiful, but as I say, this time of the year, it's a great sport. Oh, Four or five right. pounders, yeah. bending your rod, happy days. Alright, I'll slip her back.